Hi there. House of the Rising Sun. Uh, great song. This is uh, the notes say uh, from the pizza tapes. Garcia Grisman and Tony Rice recorded in 1993, released in 2006. And so this is going to be for ukulele and for guitar. So for the guitar, uh, we're going to use the same chords that we used for the ukulele, which is D minor, F, G, B flat, D minor, F, A, uh, and then D minor, F, G, B flat, D minor, A, D minor. And that goes uh, something like this. So our first chord, D minor, we're going to play that like so. And we're going to play our, uh, we're not worried about the, uh, the E and the A string, so we're going to play that from the open D string, which is the name of our chord, of course, D. So that will be our uh, tonic right there. D minor, F, to a G, to a B flat, so B flat. Now D minor, F, and A. Again, D minor, F, G, B flat, D minor, A, and D minor. Let's see if we can figure out how to finger those chords. So, so. Uh, so first is your D minor, so we're going to play the D open. And let me show you this uh, uh, right hand D too. So we're not worried about the E and the A string. We're going to start playing on the D. There's my D. Second finger is on the second fret of the G string. Third finger is on the third fret of the B string. And first finger is on the first fret of the E string. So those four notes make that D minor. Now for the F, I can play that a couple of different ways, right? I could play if you have trouble getting one finger to cover two strings, don't worry, I got, I got you covered here. So normally I would play it like so, with my F at the bottom here, so that's the third fret of the D string, there's my F, second fret of the G string, and first finger is covering the first fret of the B string and the E string, so all four of those guys would sound like that. Now, if you can't get your first finger to cover two frets, no worries, because we can do that with three strings if we want. So we can make an F that just has the, the first finger uh, covering, we're not going to play the E string, first finger covering uh, the first fret of the B string here. So that would sound like so. D minor, F. And then a G, of course, uh, is third finger on the third fret, second uh, to the E string, second finger on the second fret of the A string. And if you can get your pinky finger on the third fret of the E string up here too, that's so much better, right? Then you can play all six strings if you want to. Now B flat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, play, uh, put four fingers on and play four notes. That is second finger on the third fret of the D string, third finger on the third fret of the G string, pinky finger on the third fret of the B string, and first finger on the first fret of the E string. And there's my B flat right there. So those three chords so far sound like this. D minor, uh, F, uh, G, and B flat. Now I've got my D minor, an F, and now an A, which is just gonna be uh, the open A string, right? And then first finger on the second fret of the D string, second finger on the second fret of the G string, and third finger, ring finger on the second fret of the B string. That's a pretty good A. Uh, and then the second line is going to go D minor, go open D string, like so, then to the F. Again, if you can't play the, if you can't get the both of those notes, just play the one. So you've got those three notes here, right? F, G, uh, which you could even play if you wanted to. Just play open, you know, play from your, uh, from your, uh, D string, D, G, and B, that's perfect. That's a G major right there if you want to. But we like to play a G like so. Uh, third finger on the third fret, second finger on the second fret of the A string, open D string, open G string, open B string, and if you can get it, pinky finger on the third fret of your uh, E string. That's pretty good G. Now B flat. So that is, uh, we're not playing the E or the A string. We're going to start on the D string. Second finger on the second on the third fret of the D string, ring finger on the third fret of the G string, pinky finger on the third fret of the B string, and first finger on the first fret of the E string. Pretty good.
pretty good B flat. Now D minor again. That is open D, second finger on the second fret of the G string, third finger on the third fret of the B string, first finger on the first fret of the E string. That's your D minor, right? Then in A, again, open A string, uh, first, second, and third fingers on second uh, fret, respectively, of your D, G, and B strings. Uh, and then back to your D minor again. And we can use the same sort of rhythm that we use for the uh, for the ukulele. That's a bump, a bump, a bump, 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 a bump, a bump, a bump. Now you don't have to use that rhythm. You can use any, any number of rhythms, and that's the beautiful thing about playing your own music. You know, you're the person who decides what what how it should sound. So if you wanted to use a different uh, a different more you know more flowing rhythm, you could do that. Or if you wanted to uh, to articulate those notes separately, you could do that too. You could do anything that you want. So here's another way to look at that. Probably want to see my right hand too, don't you? So here we go. So again, D minor. Have some fun with this. It's a great tune. The pattern is not too difficult, and uh, it's a song that everybody knows, so you sure you get folks to sing along with you if you're interested in that. And uh, have some fun, and I'll put up the tabs for this um, online, and, um, and that's it.